hello guys i warmly welcome you to this video where i'm going to be showing you how to use the Citicon data grid view styler you may have noticed that we've released a latest version which is 2.0.7 an upgrade of 2.0.6 i invite you please friends to go ahead and download install this version in your development environment because we've made available several new tools including the Citicon data grid view styler which i'm going to be showing you today and you may have noticed again that on our website we are running a massive discount where every plan has been applied a 70% off. So please go ahead friends to visit the website as, and you can see the new prices that are discounted by 70%. The original price which was 199 for two devices can activate up to 15 devices and the starting plan is $59 so go ahead and take advantage of this massive discount so let me show you guys the Citicon data grid view styler there it is so this is a component that allows you to style your data grid view in a single shot thereby reducing your time let me explain to you how you can use this component when you drag and drop it onto the form, you can see that under the data grid views, there is nothing right there. The reason is that this component automatically looks for any available data grid views and it will be ready to edit them. But now, as you can see, there are no data grid views, hence there is nothing. So we recommend, guys, that the first thing to do is to drag and drop a data grid view right here and then when you add the styler component it finds the data grid view that you've added and now you can add it so let's see how it, we can do this i'm going to dock this and i'm going to be adding a few columns we're going to be calling this ID. Let's call the second column first name. In capitals, last name, age, and job there it is right so in the background i have disabled let me enable the code that just iterates and add rows right there so this is just a simple code that iterates and add rows so let's run our program to see what we have so far so we have not customized this data grid view and this is the default look it may not be appealing this is the default look so now let's style this using the data grid view styler of course if you right click go to properties you can see the properties right there this still works we can customize this but let's see how we can use the styler when you drag and drop the styler it automatically finds our data grid view and we can change the header height let's make it 50 and the raw height let's make it 40 there it is let's change the background color to black right there it is so let's run our program to see what we have so far let's give visual studio a moment there it is the sizes has been changed now let's change the selection colors as well so let's make this a dark gray on alternative and on selection let's make this pure white and let's run again to see what we have so far let's give visual studio a moment there it is so on selection now we have white so we're going to be adding more features very soon so that this can be very interesting to use 
so far by default this is what we have right we can change the style here and are going to be moving the themes to the styler as well in our future updates right now we are testing several features that we have created and as they become available this is going to be made in our upcoming updates so that you guys can have it so there it is this is how you use the uh, Citicon data grid view styler but what if you have several data grid views that you want to manage so let's try this let's add several data grid views here four five six and let's rename them to let's see one okay a b c d e f right there it is let's dump our data grid view styler so as you can see right there it automatically took all the data grid views and made them into a collection and we can customize all of these data grid views in one shot this is really cool we can customize all of these in one shot if you have a particular data grid view that you don't want to customize you just double click on it and it is deselected or you click it and it is selected right so this is how we use the Citicon data grid view styler to make it faster and easy and be sure to subscribe to, to our channel because we're going to be releasing several features so that this can become truly a, a powerful component with so many features we're going to be adding so many features very soon so be sure to subscribe and i invite you please guys to go ahead on our website and check out the massive discounts that we have and as you can see all the premium features are included and now we have more than 80 components that we have made available and very soon we'll be adding more components thank you guys my name is russell and um, i wish you all the best cheers <music>